In this video, I'm going to be showing you guys step by step how you can create your own NFT right now on your computer or even on your phone without any money. And you can actually sell your own NFTs or create your own collection on NFTs and have them on the market for other people to purchase them. Now, this does not require that you be an artist and this does not require that you have any coding experience. If you're a complete novice or a complete beginner and you don't even know what NFTs are, at the end of this video, you should be able to create your own NFT and have it listed for sale. Now, in the last video that I did on NFTs, I covered how to buy and sell NFTs. I also covered what NFTs are, and I also covered that question that a lot of people have, which is, why can't you just download the images of the art instead of paying so much money for NFTs? Why are people paying so much money for these digital images? So if you're new to the NFT space and you're wondering why are people even purchasing these things and why they don't just download them instead, be sure to go and watch that video first because that way this will all make a lot more sense, especially if you don't really know what NFTs are. Now, if you're not worried about that and you just want to learn how to create your own NFTs, and sell them without having to spend any money up front, then this video is for you. Now, before I talk about how you can create your own NFTs from scratch without any money, let's quickly go over what an NFT is and why they're so valuable in the first place. So NFT stands for an fungible token. So let's pull the definition here from Investopedia. And it says that non-fungible tokens are cryptographic assets on a blockchain with unique identification codes and metadata that distinguishes them from each other. Now, unlike cryptocurrencies, they cannot be traded or exchanged at equivalency. So to make this very simple, let's think about crypto, right? Let's think about Bitcoin, the largest crypto. If you had one Bitcoin, you could trade that Bitcoin for another Bitcoin and it would amount to the same thing. Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies are fungible because they can be traded, they can be replaced, and they can be exchanged. However, if I had a piece of art, let's just say I had an artist paint my face, then that would be a non-fungible token or non-fungible because it's one of a kind and I wouldn't be able to exchange that for another one because it would only or it would be the only one available. So non-fungible tokens are basically just unique tokens that can't be duplicated. And if you're going to trade a non-fungible token, you have to trade it for something else. And in this example, I could trade this painting off myself for painting of something else, but I wouldn't be able to trade it for another painting of myself because only one exists. So again, simply put, if you want a quick and easy way to remember this, an NFT is simply just a unique asset. It's not like anything else and it's one of a kind. Now, if you guys are new to the channel, my name is Ian and on this channel, I talk about ways to make money, ways to invest your money, bank accounts, credit cards, crypto and everything to do with personal finance. So if you like these videos and you like these types of topics, be sure to give this video a thumbs up. I'll really appreciate it. And giving this video a thumbs up is completely free. Also, be sure to subscribe if you haven't already done so with the notifications on and that way you'll never miss the updates of when I post new videos on this channel. Now, I know you guys wanna get right into the creating of the NFTs, but that is actually the final step in the process of getting your NFT out there. So the first step would be selecting a marketplace to list it and get that NFT sold. So similarly, I have an iPhone, right? And if I wanted to sell this iPhone, I could list it on eBay or I could list it on Craigslist or maybe Facebook Marketplace or Etsy, or I have a bunch of marketplaces to choose from where I can list my iPhone. So similarly, you have a bunch of marketplaces that you can list your NFTs on. However, just to make this video simple, I'll be giving you guys the most popular NFT marketplace, and that is going to be OpenSea. Also, since OpenSea is the most popular NFT marketplace, you're definitely going to have a greater chance of having more people come across your NFTs or your NFT collection, which increases the chances of you selling your NFTs. Now, the website or the URL address is opensea.io, and I'll leave a link below to that so you guys can go there and check that out, but it looks somewhat like this. So that is step number one. The first thing you need to do is find a marketplace or you guys can just go and sign up on OpenSea and use that one. Now, step number two is creating a wallet and the wallet is where you will actually hold or store your NFT. Now, as I explained in the earlier video or earlier on in the video about NFTs, 
They are created on the blockchain and that way you can prevent someone from stealing or cloning your NFTs. And this is why you need a crypto wallet for your NFTs that you're going to be creating. So people can screenshot or copy the images all they want, but they'll never be the verifiable owner of your NFTs unless they actually pay for them. Now, the most popular wallet or one of the most popular right now could be Coinbase wallet. If you already have a Coinbase wallet, then you can use it. But then we also have the MetaMask wallet, which is also very popular. And if I were to choose between these wallets, I'd go with MetaMask, but I guess it doesn't really matter. It's just up to personal preference. Choose whichever one you wish, but you need a wallet. Now, getting the Coinbase wallet is really simple, really easy. You can just go to Coinbase and get that crypto wallet. But if you want to set up MetaMask, this is how you're going to do it. And I know you want to get to creating the NFT, but these steps are just as important. And you actually need to do these before you create your NFT. So to do this, the first thing that you need to do is to go to MetaMask.io and you can download the extension for Chrome or whatever browser you're using or you could do it on your mobile phone. However, I find it easier working on your computer, but the option is yours here. So you're going to download and you're going to install MetaMask for Chrome if you're using the Chrome browser, which I would suggest because it makes everything so much easier. And you're going to hit add extension and it's going to open a new window and you're going to hit get started. And here you're going to create your wallet. So you're then going to be prompted to create a password, which you guys should already know how to do. And of course, agree to the terms and conditions of use. And then you're going to have to secure your wallet. Now, this next step is very, very important. It's going to give you a secret recovery phrase. This is something that you should not tell or show to anyone because this is how you can get back into your wallet if you ever forget the passcode or if you ever lose your devices or anything like that. Now, it's also recommended that the secret recovery phrase, which is just a bunch of random words, once you see it, you store it on an encrypted hard drive or some other storage medium that is not on the same device that you're actually using. You'll then be prompted to input that secret phrase in the exact same order it was displayed to you before, and then you'll be all done and then you have access to your wallet. So that's it for setting up your wallet and I can't show you my secret code because you guys would steal my NFTs. Now your wallet is now set up and ready to go. Now the next thing is creating your NFT and to do this, you're gonna have to sign up on OpenSea.io, create an account which should be fairly simple and easy. Now to create your NFT, all you really need is art, right? So if you're an artist, you can create some artwork, some digital art, or you can take a photo of anything that you can or want to be an NFT. You can use that photo or you can use some photo editing software like Photoshop to create something. And that could be your NFT. So just as an example, I could take a photo of my face right now and use it as an NFT, upload it on OpenSea and try to sell that NFT. Now, this is also very simple. So let's go through this quickly. And so the first thing that you want to do is you want to go to the top of the page and you want to hit create. Now, at this point, you'll be able to upload your NFT and it will give you several different file formats. So in this example, I'm using the thumbnail of this video as my NFT. So I would upload it right here. Now, the next step is to give your NFT a name and then you can also add an external link, which could be, let's say, a website that talks about your NFTs or the collection of NFTs that you offer. And then you can give your description. And this is very similar to listing items for sale on just about any marketplace. So for example, if you were to list something on eBay for sale, you'd have to give it a title, a name, a description. You'd have to upload photos. So this is just the same. The only thing that's different here is that you're using a digital product in a sense and not a physical one. Also in this step, you are given the option to add this NFT to a collection. So if you already have a collection of NFTs, you can add it to that collection. But if you're just starting out, you can ignore this part and move on. Now, after you've filled in this field, you'll get to choose the supply, which is the number of copies that can be minted. So in this example, we'll just do one. And also you get to choose the blockchain you want to mint your NFT to. So usually this is the Ethereum blockchain, but you have the option of using the Polygon blockchain. And the difference here really has to do with the gas fees. Now, if you want to do this for free, you could go with Polygon because Ethereum can be tricky when it comes on to gas fees. You'd be spending $300 just to mint your NFT on Ethereum 
versus nothing if you use Polygon. Now, there may be a small fee when the NFT actually sells or you get paid, but if you want to do this the free way and you don't want to spend any money, choose Polygon and more than likely you won't have to spend any money to mint your NFT upfront. Now, at that point, you can hit create and that's it. You just created your first NFT and now you'll have some social links where you can share it to your Facebook, your Twitter, you can copy the link and send it to all your friends and let them know that you just created an NFT and you're going to now be rich if it sells for millions. So now that you've created your NFT, there's still one more final step and this is selling your NFT. So you can hit sell on the NFT and it will bring you to this page we can decide how much you wanna charge for a unit of the NFT. In this example, we only had one unit and you can make this whatever you want. And then also the duration, and we can leave that at six months. And then it will actually tell you the service fee and also the royalty. So each time the NFT sells, you will be paid a royalty which is really cool and that is how you can make some money from your NFTs. Now, you won't be able to get away from the fees completely for creating NFTs. So if you choose the Polygon blockchain, you won't be charged a fee for actually creating the NFT and you'll only be charged that fee once the NFT sells. So you still get away without spending any money upfront to create and list and sell your NFT. Now to complete this process, you will hit complete listing and then sign in with your wallet and then boom, your NFT is listed for sale. And now you can get paid for this NFT and make some money. So that's it. That is how you can actually create your own NFT, even on your cell phone, list it for sale and make some money. I hope this was simple enough for you to understand. Comment down below. Let me know if you have any other questions or any other topics that you'd like me to cover in the NFT or crypto space. If you want to talk to me one-on-one, -on -one, you can find me on Instagram. The link is down below in the description. And with all that said, thank you guys so much for watching. All the best with creating your NFTs and making money. And I will see you guys very soon in the next one.